the day for mourning and the death toll in Kerala has been confirmed to have crossed 300. Over 300 people confirmed dead. But remember, this also means that this is the recorded data that has come, specifically of the mortal remains of the bodies that have been recovered. Many more are missing. Uh, I'm specifically told, and uh, the tragic part here is that while most, of course, are bodies recovered, some are simply remains of people buried in the landslide. There have been also confirmed 29 children who have died buried in the Vainad landslide. Chief Minister Office has also suggested that there is not much hope for more survivors. Remember that on 30th July morning, which is overnight, 2 to 4 a.m. is when multiple landslides hit Vainad. 30th July and 2nd August morning today, while rescue personnel are trying their best to reach out to survivors with, you know, miracles that are expected, and we've seen it in the past as well. But the fact is, rain has hampered rescue ops. Shibimol KG is joining me on the phone line. Shibimol, you've been constantly getting updates here. You're talking to as many people, and I understand how difficult this can be on the ground. But what about the rescue operation now? How are, what is the priority now? Are they looking for survivors? Are they now looking for rehabilitation? Are they looking to make more bridges? What are you picking up on the strategy here, Ron? Uh, since the delivery construction is uh, over, it's become easy for vehicles and missionaries to reach Mundakai area. So uh, the rescue operations have speed up, but again, it's raining again in Churul Mala is what uh, we are seeing around. So uh, that again is going to be difficult for the rescue operators because yesterday also they had to stop in between because it started raining very heavily. And it's not very safe to stand on certain areas because you never know, uh, you know, it's very slopey also. So, uh, that, uh, but the rescue operations are going in full swing, considering that the bridge construction is over, which is making it easy for ambulances and other vehicles to travel. Uh, but yes, uh, the hope, there's no much hope left. To, let's be practical, there's no much hope left, uh, you know, in finding any more survivors. Whoever is alive has been saved, is what the rescue operators uh, informed Chief Minister yesterday. So it's more about recovering the body parts uh, because there should be a data on how many people have gone missing, how many people, uh, you know, have lost their lives in this tragedy. So uh, the focus is to recover as many bodies as possible and uh, they're using uh, the help of, uh, you know, the uh, dogs also, uh, the dog squad also to find because, uh, you know, there were certain areas where, uh, you know, the dog squad did find body parts because, uh, uh, body parts. So that is also one focus today. The dog squad has also been deployed since the last two days, especially in Mundaka area because it's completely washed away. And uh, the bodies that they recovered yesterday were underneath uh, you know, the, the pieces of the houses that were lying down. So, uh, but right now the focus is to take out as many bodies as possible from the debris. Uh, mm. And that is that was difficult yesterday because they couldn't get a lot of mesh, the help of a lot of machinery. But today, uh, that will also be provided because the business construction is over. So the focus is this and of mm. course the rehabilitation. But uh, I think that will all be, that is all being discussed under, you know, uh, at the Chief Minister's office and mm. uh, the government is discussing and taking measures for it. But the focus is definitely... Keep, um, keep tracking the so, latest on this, Shibimol, because remember when we say death toll, 200 or 300, it you know, also means hundreds of families who have lost their loved ones. Some of the families have been wiped away. So think of it in that sense as well. This landslide incident, Vainad, Kerala, India will not forget in a long time to come.